Hey guys, how's it going? Bluebird Gamer here. Welcome to Civ 5. Now guys, I'm so excited about doing this to be able to do a Civ playthrough with you guys. Now, if I don't sound too excited, this is about my fourth or fifth time trying to record. And I've had audio problems or other things. My last session it was actually going pretty good. I got all the way through, and I was starting, and then my settler got captured by a barbarian on turn 3. Before it could found a city, so I was like, okay, this isn't gonna work. We better start again. So, here I am. So if you didn't understand what that was and what I was talking about, go watch a Civ Basics video because I'm not going to be talking much about the concept of Civ and the it's not this isn't going to be a tutorial, it's going to be a playthrough. So if you guys understand what Civ's about, you can go ahead and stay on. So or if you or you can go and watch a tutorial video about what the basics of Civ, then you can come back. So basically, I asked about a week ago which civilization you wanted me to play as, and it was a direct tie between Montezuma as the Aztecs and Suleiman of the Ottomans. I think it's Suleiman, not Suleiman. I keep pronouncing it wrong. But, so basically, if you guys don't know the specialties of these guys, Montezuma gains culture for each enemy to killed. Really good for military and cultural victories. Jaguar is an upgraded form of the warrior who heals 2 HP after killing a unit. Really good early on for fighting barbarians and keeping your city safe. Floating Gardens is an upgraded form of the Granary, I believe, which gives... Instead of a plus 2 food boost, it gives a plus 10% food boost, which is much better once you get a large empire. Alright, so, and Suleiman, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to pronounce that right from here on out, is a 50% chance of converting an adjacent barbarian naval unit to your side and earning 25 gold. They also pay much less for naval unit maintenance, which is, pr which is pretty good if you have a naval empire. I never do that much. I've never actually played as them. I know what these units do now because I read about them in my previous take on this video before I turns out I couldn't do it. So basically a Janissary is an upgraded form of the Musketman, which is I think by the end of the by around the end of the Renaissance is when you get them. Or maybe it is the Renaissance when you get them, I don't know. But basically it heals after it kills a unit, which is really good. It's actually almost it's, it's kind of better than the Jaguar in a way. And then the Sapahi is an upgraded form of the Lancer, who, and it moves faster and it also can see farther. And the winner in the end, let's see if Oh, I can get them both on. Let's see if I can get their faces. There we go. Alright. And the winner in the end was... Suleiman. So, I ha since it was a direct tie between the two, I had to put the votes in a hat, and I had to draw a winner. Su Suleiman came out by a hair. So, we got all this set, so let's begin. The guy in the beginning is just going to go through an intro. If you can't hear it, I'm sorry, you can read it. Blessings of God be upon you, O great Emperor Suleiman. Your power, wealth, and generosity all the world. Truly are you called magnificent. Your empire began in Bithynia, a small country in eastern Anatolia in the 12th century. Taking advantage of the decline of the great Seljuk Sultanate of Rum, King Osman I of Bithynia expanded west into Anatolia. Over the next century, your subjects brought down the empire of Byzantium, taking its holdings in Turkey and then the Balkans. In the mid-15th century, the Ottomans captured ancient Constantinople, gaining control of the strategic link between Europe and the Middle East. Your people's empire would continue to expand for centuries, at its height governing much of North Africa, the Middle East, and Eastern Europe. Mighty Suleiman, heed the call of your people. Bring your empire back to the height of its power and glory, and once again the world will look upon your greatness with awe and admiration. Will you accept the challenge, great emperor? Will you build an empire that will stand the test of time? I will. All right. So, if, ooh, okay. So I like the star. This is good. We got. We're right by the. We're right by the ocean. We we're by a hill. We also have a river here. We got sh spices and marbles. It's almost as good as one of the other takes I tried to do. Now I have tried many takes. Like I said, this is like my fourth or fifth. Oh, we already found. We found Mount Fuji. And we also found a natural, or we also found ruins. That's really nice. All right, I think I'm gonna settle here. Yeah, this seems good. All right, Istanbul. We are gonna rename you. Uh, I do like this, and I'm gonna call you Beardop. Oh, wait, it's not typing. Beardopolis. That's not typed right. Gosh, I don't know why. I'm not very good at typing today. There we go. Beardopolis has been founded. Now, real quick, I'm just going to um, I'm gonna turn down my music because I'm worried that it may be a little too loud for you guys. Oh, it's already at 40%. Never mind. It's fine. I did not realize that. All right. Beardopolis has been founded. We're going to get a monument so we can get that fast turn spread out. Let's, um... 
got mining. I'd be really good early on for production. I think we want to do animal husbandry, simply so that we can discover horses if they're around. Plus, it allows us to construct a pasture, which is very good. All right. Man, I found Mount Fuji, and I also got some bonus population. That's quite nice. Got some lovely spices around. I'll, I'll explore south once I get a scout. I'm just going to send these guys forward. We found another ruin. I'm on a roll with these. These ruins are so good early on because they can get you free text. Can, it's just amazing. Oh, and I got a spearman. That's not the best bonus, but it's good for defending early on. It's just, um, considering you can't get them until bronze working, it's, it's better than nothing, basically. Alright, so now we just gotta explore with this guy while our monument's being crafted. Oh, no! No, please let it not be so. No! 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 My fate has been sealed. Please let, please let us be friends. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. Our fate has been sealed. No, we started by the uh, the uh, the Aztecs. E I'm not kidding. Every game I have played, when I start by the Ottomans, they end up completely obliterating me because they somehow get like five cities by turn forty. No, that's horrible. I'm I I would rather quit the game right now and just start over than try to continue than end up getting wiped out by the Aztecs later on. Something I may I may try to do though is I may try to. Hang on, let's just get up there, get that range boost. I may try to, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I keep losing my train of thought, but I, if I can take the Aztecs early on before they get too many cities, I'll have an extra city up by lovely furs, dot, furs, wine, and other nice goodies. But yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, let's adopt this. We want to get a worker as soon as possible, get up and running. We've got 13 culture. We also got some lovely mountains, some wheat. This is looking pretty cool so far. How are you already afraid? It's turn eight. Are you serious? Don't let him take that. I want it. Yes, I got it. And I discovered sailing. That's awesome. All right. So we got our scout down here. And let's check out this little clump of wheat. Doesn't look like there's anything over there. I'll check next turn, though. All right, we're going to rush right in because we want to get the great library as soon as possible. That is important. Somehow we're already at a second cultural policy. That's pretty good. Let's get a free worker. Alright, and we'll use him in a second. I want to explore up here. Ooh, who's this? I don't actually recognize that person. I'll check in a second. I'll build a farm there. There's nothing up here, right? Yeah, it's just an ocean. Alright, this is going pretty well so far. We, we Right now, early on, we just want to rush warriors and take down the Aztecs, because... They will be a menace if we don't. Oh! Ooh, it's Darius! Nice! Alright, Darius, I don't want to hear what you have to say. I need to do my playthrough, man. Oh, this is exciting. We got a really good start here, guys. I'm loving this. Alright. Ooh, we got we found pearls as well. It's pretty cool. I think we got a very good start. I think this is probably... Now I think this would be the best start I've ever I've one of the best starts I've ever had if I hadn't start if I hadn't started right by the Aztecs. If they were on the other side of the world for me, I could stink and care less, but that's just really unfortunate. I'm gonna try to build the Great Lighthouse. It's just good to rush wonders early on, because they bring your score up and I think it intimidates the other teams a little bit. I, plus the Great Hyatt Lighthouse will give me a boost for naval units, their sight and speed. And I need that, considering I have... Oh, silver. Oh, I think I found a city state up there. Considering I have a, um, a naval empire boost. So we're going to want to factor in that. It looks like we just got a lot of fish around. A lot of cows, actually. That'd be good for food if we ever decided to found a city there for some ridiculous reason. Not that we're going to. Um, Alright, we found the city state of Almaty. Not that I care. Like, I never... I'm just gonna say, oh no. I never actually care that much about city states. I don't know why, it's just. They, I never really bother with them. I need to go defend my scout. Oh! Um. Hey, Darius, would you mind giving me a hand here, buddy? That would be greatly appreciated. Because they will wreck my scout. So, let's just keep exploring to the north. If we can find 
all these people early on. They'll be good. Sneak back there. I think I'll put you on Fortify, just so we get that defensive boost, because I don't want to rush him too soon. I'm afraid that would lead to disastrous consequences. Darius, why won't you help me? What the heck, man? All right. I have the third highest gold in the world right now. That's pretty cool. Gold, by the way, if you guys don't know, and you decided to watch anyway, despite not knowing about Civ, gold can be used to... Oh, I can't see. Gold can be used to purchase things, so you don't have to build them. It's pretty nice. So if he if he starts going after my worker, it'd be pretty good, because he'd get let into my... Oh. Gosh, I'm not, being, I'm not getting very lucky with these places. I'm going to hide back in my city is the smart choice anytime. Alright, ooh, we got lots of spices. That's very nice. I don't think he'll attack me. Ugh. I'm not liking this with my spearman. I think he's gonna get destroyed. Which, that's not very good. Oh, ooh, hello, Edinburgh. Oh, and I'm already trespassing because I couldn't see your borders. How unfortunate. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Um, I think I'm gonna move you over here because after I build, after I get my calendar, I'm going to try to Great Lighthouse. Yeah, I know I'm trespassing. I didn't see him before. Ooh, let's try. Let's try taking him down. We'll get a little bit of military training. If we can, if we can start giving them some sick levels, we can do pretty well. Oh, I passed Darius because he doesn't have that awesome scout bonus. Um. He's actually just standing there right now. I can't... I'm not doing very well military-wise currently. It's not the best. Oh, have you already moved? Oh, it looks like you have already moved. Um, you know what? Just go by the marble. We'll keep you there for now. And once we have the ability... We'll, we'll do mining next. Once we have the ability to make a mine, we'll be sorted. I know I'm trespassing! I just need to get through. I can adopt a policy. Um, if we start a golden age early on, we can build a lot of lovely gold and surplus. Um, I don't necessarily want a free settler yet. I'll do representation just to get an early golden age. Oh, and I can't attack him either because he, the other barbarian will destroy me. Man, he got lucky. Oh, there's another city-state. Man, there's a lot of city-states around here. Persia is protecting Edinburgh. Okay, so I don't, I can't destroy them. Not that I want to. I mean, I have already, already oh. So teach us. This is very bad. There's a lot of barbarians down here. I mean to bring my spear. Why is my spearman scouting? Actually, I find that a little strange. Um, we wanted mining next, right? Yeah, we wanted mining. Uh, let's us. Hello, Hanoi. I can't move there because of that Aztec scout. You know what? I'll trespass in Hanoi. I could care less. Just get sick, send happiness. I'll eventually melt away. They got they got gems though. That's actually pretty cool. I may come. I may um, quote unquote come back to them later. Uh, yeah, I've actually made almost a whole loop around the continent. I've almost completely discovered already. Just ooh, yeah. I'm gonna destroy Persia. I'm gonna conquer. Where? Oh, what? where did he come from? Where did he come from? He was probably there the whole time. I just wasn't paying attention. That's really unfortunate. Darius is in the classical era. Man, he's fast. Well, ooh, I can choose my next research. Let's go for the wheel. We need some early, fast production. Oh, come on! These guys are everywhere! Yeah, my fate's sealed. Between starting by the Aztecs and having these barbarians that were capturing all my stuff. It's not looking good, I will say that. I need to get... Oh, this is not good. Um, this is really isn't good. Uh, oh. Well, I've already, ca I've already charted the whole continent. Which basically means now that scout's useless. He can come back, and he can help me with these stinking barbarians, who are absolutely everywhere. Ah, uh, well, there goes my spearman. Good grief. 
Yeah. This isn't the best start. I'll just... I'll come out... I'll, I'll flat come out and say it. This is very bad. Uh... I have one unit left. And actually, he could have attacked that barbarian. Probably gotten a little bit of experience off the deal. Let's bring you home. You don't have much of a use left anymore. Oh, wait, no! Gosh. Um... Well, that barbarian's running away. Where did my worker go? Is there a new encampment down there that I don't know about? Let's see, what do we want next? Let's do... Masonry. Because masonry will allow us to utilize the stone we have. I keep wanting to take down that barbarian, but I forget to move him. Yeah, there's gotta be an encampment over there. I'm getting so many barbarians coming over here. Wow, wow they're, they're going really fast. No! Oh, well, the jaguar got him. You see, they healed up instantly. That's their specialty. Uh, there we go. Great lighthouse. So now we got a free lighthouse as well. That's a really good sign for our naval empire. If the land battle with the Aztecs goes, aw goes awry, we can always resort to that. Um... I'll leave you. I'll let the Aztecs deal with you. Um, we have a lot of early on gold. Is there anything we can purchase that would be useful? We could get a nice, good early source of food, but besides that, I don't see much of a benefit. I could get a warrior. I'll get a warrior, and he'll be able to start peppering these guys here. Uh, Montezuma's in the class, Calera. So it looks like the other three sieves are on a different continent. What? Where are these guys coming from? Is there a barbarian encampment down there now? Because this is ridiculous. Uh, who, who do I get to shoot? I get to shoot this kind fellow. We'll just sweep in for an easy kill. Get some, get some experience. Yeah, we gotta come destroy the Aztecs. That's gonna be important. They just early on spam their military and settling. They, they just get so annoying. Once I deal with these barbarians, I'm gonna go up and do that. I'm, oh, how is Montezuma already have 106 for military power? Like, if we look at our demographics, I'm only the worst on approval, actually, somehow. I'm best on literacy and best on population. Probably because of that early on boost. You need to fall back into the city. You come over here. Oh my gosh. This is not very, this is not the best start. Um, let's get us, um, let's get Colossus, because that's also good for naval powers. There's not, there's not really any resources we could get from it, but, you know, it's Colossus. It gives us plus five gold. It's better than nothing, I suppose. You are on terrible health standards. Let's hit you, wipe you out. We want you to heal up. This needs to be quick. We need to destroy the Aztecs quickly. Right. And we also, we also need to take out that barbarian encampment because, let's face it, they're hurting us pretty hard. Let's just bombard you over there. We'll heal you up. Alright. Well, we recovered. Man, we're 18 minutes already. This is going by, too, this is going by way too quickly. As you guys probably know, Civ is a very long game, so we could be <laughs> this could be this could be this may be a very long series, but that's good because Civ is fun. All right, my guys are almost healed up. Then I think we'll go take out this barbarian encampment. I think that will maybe end it for this episode. I don't know. I probably, I probably shouldn't have spent the first five minutes chattering on about hmm, what's tradition do. Actually, tradition would be good to start. Alright, so let us... We'll, br we'll start bringing our scout back. Our units are all trained up. Oh, okay. There's quite a few of them. Let's go show them who's boss. I don't think they can get to us yet, though. So... And Beatenberg targets targets nearby. Oh, they can get to me. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, you fortify, so we'll get that defensive boost. And I'll try to flank with you. Alright, we'll, we'll bring the scout down as well, because he still can fight. We'll get rid of the message. Uh, ooh, ironworking. 
that will launch us into the classical era as well as give us a nice military boost. If we do have iron, that will allow us to... I want to take you down some. We'll do it with you. Bang. Alright. Oh, there's my worker! I don't care about the city-state message. Let me take... Get me back to my city. Alright. Beardopolis is looking very nice. The Aztecs don't have their second city yet, so we should be grateful for that. Um, we're at 20 minutes. I think I can take out this encampment by then. Shouldn't take too long. What the? How'd they get two? Oh. I was about to say how'd they get two, but we'll heal you up. Wipe you out. Hit you. Oh, they may take him out. Oh, no, we did it, guys. The worker's ours. I need a name for him. Something to honor him by. We'll name him John. Got to, got to, we gotta bring John home. All right, that's that's lovely. Uh, as long as they don't, another, no, as long as another barbarian doesn't spawn there, we should be good. Yeah, here we go. Who had the promotion? Oh, you did. We'll start leveling you up, and I think that's a good sp spot to stop. Uh, sorry, I think that's a good spot to stop, guys. It's looking, we're looking pretty good. Beardopolis is growing very well. We also have, let's see, they grow, and our, our, we need to work on our production a little bit. We need to get our guy back, and we need to start building some stuff, because the Great Library is important to get early on. We also need to spam warriors and take out Montezuma, so... Till next time, guys. So long. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed. I am so excited for doing Civ, and I hope you guys are, too. Up in the top left button is that good old subscribe button. If you could please hit that, that would mean so much to me, because I am on my way to my next goal of 25 subscribers, guys. I'm almost halfway there. I'm so excited about that. It just shows me you guys care so much, and I appreciate that. Up in the top right there is my Let's Build. I don't have any other Civ videos to reference with these and outros, so I'm going to reference a couple of my other series. So we got Minecraft up in the top right there for a Let's Build. In the bottom left, we got Project Pokemon, which is a Roblox Pokemon hybrid, which is awesome. So, if you want to watch either of those, just go ahead and click the appropriate link, and it'll send you to the right page. Until next time, guys, this is Blueberry Gamer, signing off.